Hello everybody, my name is Jack Tesson, you are the viewer, and The Rise of Skywalker has been out for about two weeks now, and I've seen it twice, I saw it a couple days ago, and I saw it at midnight when it came out, um, I did the triple bill, I watched The Force Awakens, straight into Last Jedi, and then straight into The Rise of Skywalker, one of the best experiences I've ever had, it was so much fun, and yeah, I... I'm really thankful that I was able to do that. But yeah, did I enjoy The Rise of Skywalker? Yes, I loved it. Um, it's up there in the top five, I think, of of the uh, my little tier list of Star Wars films. Um, that's not including Solo and Rogue One by the way. I will be doing a video soon of my tier list and my ranking of uh, the Skywalker saga and the movies um, so make sure you like and subscribe for that and uh, yeah I absolutely loved The Rise of Skywalker um, just so you know this video is going to be very raw there's going to be no cuts no nothing uh, it's just going to be me talking for god knows how long and uh yeah hope you guys do enjoy it so i'm trying to think where to start should i just start at the beginning and just basically try and go through the whole movie um yeah i think we'll do that so the opening scene spoilers by the way i think i mentioned that um opening scene we see kylo ren flying about trying to find Emperor Palpatine because he's back. He came back. God knows how. Um, I think there's videos out now, like theories and whatever, explaining how he came back and all that sort of stuff. But I, I, I don't know how. Um, but yeah, so we've got Kylo Ren flying around trying to find Emperor Palpatine. Goes to Mustafar, finds this Wayfinder, and you need. There's two of these, and you need one to go to this planet that only the Wayfinder can take you to, which is Exegol, which is the planet that Emperor Palpatine is on, where he's building this new army, and he's telling Kylo Ren, oh, join me, and, you know, he says that famous quote, what's it, what's it? Uh, the dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities, some consider to be unnatural, whatever. Right, it says all that, and then tells, uh, Palpatine tells Kylo Ren to kill Ray. So or turn it to Dark Side or whatever. And um obviously I've never I've d haven't seen what Palpatine looked like. I didn't really look into anything when looking into this film. Um obviously I watched I reacted to trailers and stuff, but that was literally it. I read nothing. I didn't read any spoilers. Cause you know what people are like out there there's dickheads that like to put things on twitter being like oh my god this is gonna happen oh my god this is happening and it's like it's really annoying and um in the final week of the film coming out i didn't really go on twitter at all because i knew what was going to happen there's going to be loads of these um tv spots that come out and you know they really are they really annoy me tv spots because they show too much and um yeah and it's like i want to go into this film not seeing much obviously seeing stuff from the trailers and stuff but nothing else like they brought out a whole scene you know that scene where um they're on that like deserty planet and uh with the speeders they like steal some speeders and they get the um the jump trooper, the like the jet trooper kind of things flying over the light. They fly now, they fly now, they fly now. That kind of thing. Um, they brought that out, and it's like, why bring out a full scene? Just like leave it. Don't don't show it. I know you're trying to hype up the film and stuff, but it's like absolutely no point. But anyway, um, what happens after that? I'm trying to think. What happens after that? Um, oh yeah. Then does it cut to like? It cuts to. Um, Poe, Finn and Chewbacca flying in the Millennium Falcon 
and they're getting a message from a spy on this uh, planet. And... I'm trying to think what happens. Yeah, then TIE fighters come along, blah, blah, blah. And this scene is really, really cool. They're like flying around in the Millennium Falcon, getting chased by TIE fighters, you know, the standard wicked with the cool music in the background epic absolutely epic um yeah then they go back uh was it pose doing the whole light speed skipping thing that was awesome uh cool little addition to the to uh star wars um i thought it was really really cool um then you got ray absolutely love ray and oh, ray in this film ray and kylo ren in this film bossed it absolutely bossed it um what happens after that they go back to the rebel bay the, not the rebel base the resistance base have a chat about palpatine being back and whatever um and they talk about this whole wayfinder thing and there's only two made and the only the way you can get to palpatine is if you have one of these wayfinders and ray had these books that luke had and he was trying to find the wayfinder so he can you know, destroy Palpatine. Um, and he was telling Leia about it. She was like, oh, Luke was trying to find um, this wayfinder to get to Palpatine and destroy him, whatever. Um, and then they go on a mission to try and find the wayfinder. Um, they go to this planet. I forgot what it's called, though. Uh, yeah, it's that planet with the skis, uh, the speeder scene. Um, which was really really cool nice little nod as well they had that you know that festival bit um, freaking C-3PO says uh, oh it only happens every 42 years which is a nod to A New Hope being released 42 years ago which is insane um, trying to think what else the whole force thing as well between Rey and Kylo Ren where they're like in two different spots but they're fighting that was that's really cool that's a new way to look at the force and how powerful it is um how powerful it can be um and yeah what's it the whole um then they do trying to think what happens next oh yeah then they meet lando lando then finally meet him um I bet loads of people are going to be like, what is Lando on this planet for? How did he get there? You know? And it's like, he's probably there. There's, there's a reason why he's there. It's just not, doesn't tell you in the film. I'm going to be honest, the film is really rushed. Um, but I want to say rushed in the good way. Because it's, it's a good film. Like, it's really, really good. It's just... I do see why people think it's rushed. I totally get it. Totally get it why. Totally get it why. I totally get why it was rushed. Looked like it was rushed. Um, but it's still a really good movie. Like, you can't fault this film. Like, critics as well. I mean, really? Giving it a... What percentage did they give it on Rotten Tomato? It was like a 50-something. I think lower than that, I think. And then the audience had it like 80-something percent, which is a better percentage for this film. But it's like, yeah. Anyway, meet Lando, and they're like telling him about this whole finding the Wayfinder thing. And he was like, oh, me and Luke were trying to find the Wayfinder on this planet, and we couldn't go, we couldn't find, couldn't find anywhere, but it was linked to this character. Boom, and he shows the character. Um, and then he was like, oh, his ship. He was going back to his ship, and um, yeah, something happened to him, couldn't find him, whatever. And they're like, okay, we need to go, back, go to that ship. And then he tells them where the ship is. Go to the ship, whatever. And then, uh, what's it called? The ski speed, uh, the ski speeder scene. The speeder scene happens. And then uh, they go into this pit. And then they're like sinking. And I, this is really badly explained, but I'm trying to explain it as much as I can without trying to forget what happens in the film. Um, excuse me. And they're, they're sinking, and as they're sinking, Finn goes, Ray, there's something I need to tell you, and then he sinks, and it's like, oh, you think they're dead, whatever. Um, people are like, oh, Finn was trying to 
tell Ray that he loves her. Oh, you're stupid, man. <laughs> Absolutely stupid. Do you really think, like, Finn would say that to Ray after, in The Last Jedi, he kissed Rose? Like, can I just say, Rose in this film is really shit. That's one of the negative things I don't like about this film. Um, you don't see much of more connection between Finn and Rose in the film. It's a bit weird. There's a scene where they're talking to each other and Finn just, like, taps on the back. It's like, you're meant to be dating. Like, what's going on here? But anyway. Um, but no, Finn wasn't trying to say that he loved Ray. He was trying to say that he is Force-sensitive because as the film goes on, which I'll get to uh, get to that in the end, there's a lot of little hints that's he, that he's thinking um, about him being a force um, for sensitive, which is really cool. Absolutely love that. That's really cool. Um, then they sink, and then something else happens. I've forgotten. I think they're talking to Kylo Ren or something, or whatever. Um, fixing the mask and whatever. And then they go into the pit, and then they find uh, this snake, like this python kind of thing. And um, Oh, before that, actually, they find this little Sith dagger, which had um, the location of a Wayfinder on it. Um, and 3PO's there like, oh, I know what this says, but I'm not going to tell you because it's in my, um, in his system that he can't say it because it's in Sith and the droid can't speak, can't tell someone who's not Sith. Sith language, do you know what I mean? I think that made sense. Um, and it's kind of like funny, but it's not at the same time because they can't, because Perupio can't say it. It's, do you know what I mean? It's cool. Um, so yeah, they take the dagger, then they, Ray uses um, force heal on the snake because it was hurt, and he, the snake was trying to protect itself, but Ray uses the force to heal the snake, which is cool. I like that a lot. And people were complaining about that as well. It's like, she can force heal. Cool. She learned that somehow. Alright, cool. Because it, it happens. <laughs> no? Anyway. Um, and then they escape and whatever. And then they go to the ship. That ship um, that Lando told them about. And then Kylo Ren comes along. Tries to stop Ray. Ray does this epic backflip with the lights and cuts the wing of the ship off. That was so sick. Um, and then Chewie gets captured. And then the transport escapes. The Chewie's on. And um, Ray's like using the force to try and bring it down. But then Kylo comes along and tries to stop her. And they're like. Kylo Ren's kind of like toying with her being like, oh, I'm stronger than you, and she's like, no, I'm not having this, I want Chewie, and then Kylo Ren makes Rey use force lightning onto the ship, and blows it up, and we're thinking, no, Chewie's dead, no, 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 kind of thing, I remember that happening in the cinema, and I just burst out crying, I did, but, uh, absolutely burst out crying, it was so, like, horrible, because it's like, I don't want Chewie to die like that, but anyway, um, what happens after that? They fly away and whatever. They're talking about Chewie being like, oh, we need to save Chewie and whatever. Um, then they go to this planet that Poe's been to before and he's had some trouble there. What was it Space Rider or something? He was there before? Anyway, uh, goes back to that planet because we need to get. They needed to get um, 3 Pierce memory wiped. So he can speak the Sith language to them so they can find where the Wayfinder is. And then they go to the planet to get uh, to find Bubba Freak, which is a very cool character, by the way. Hey! <laughs> I love it. Um, so we can so they can wipe CPU Press memory, uh, which is what they end up doing. And then they... S Say then 3 says the location of it is on a moon near Endor, which is cool because that's where you know that's where the Death Star was. Um, oh god, I'm trying to remember. And then 
after that, there he's. Oh, what happens that? Oh yeah, Kylo Ren's ship comes along, and Ray's like, "Oh my God, Chewie's on that ship!" And they go and save Chewie. And while they're trying to do that, uh, Ray tries to get the dagger back because then she needs it to find the Wayfinder because it's like a feeling. Um, retrieve it. They save Chewie. Whatever. Oh, they, no. They they save Chewie, but then they get captured again. Um, and then they're like, oh, execute them. Like, Finn, Poe, and Chewie. Execute them. But out of nowhere, freaking General Hooks is like, I'm the spy. It's like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, then they... Hooks technically save them. And then... Um, they run away to the ship and whatever... But um, Ray's having a fight with Kylo Ren with the Force again. Kylo Ren's on the planet below and Ray's up in the spaceship, which is, like, insane. It was so epic. And then, uh, yeah, they have the fight. And then Darth Vader's helmet, well, the stand that it was on breaks because they were fighting, falls down. And Kylo Ren's like, oh, you're there, whatever. Go back to the ship. I'm trying to explain this really, really quickly. There's probably other, there's probably other stuff that I'm missing, but... Um, yeah, they go back to the ship. Kylo goes back to the ship, meets up with um, Rey, and tells her the truth about who she really is. And he says to her that she is a Palpatine. Wow. <laughs> like, it kind of makes sense, because, like, I don't know, her, like, fighting style... And the way she can use force lightning, it just makes sense. And I like it. Okay. And I'll tell you why I like it in a bit. So, what happens after that? Um, yeah, then they escape and then they go to the uh, Endor moon. Which is where the Death Star crashed onto, which is where they needed to go to. They go there, and they need to cross this uh, lake kind of thing, but it's like massive, literally massive waves, like impossible. You have to wait until, um, until it goes down to be able to use these speed things to go and cross to get to the Death Star. They're like, oh, I need to wait till morning, whatever. Oh yeah, they meet with another character as well um Jana is that her name I know it begins with a J um and she was also a stormtrooper and that's why Finn is like um you know happy to see her and whatever uh he also like talks that he knows about the force as well saying like oh the force brought me and Ray together and it's like hmm a bit weird um, and then Ray goes off on her own to the Death Star on the ski speeder with these massive bloody waves, which is insane. Just because she needed to find this Wayfinder so she can go and destroy Palpatine. Because that's what she says. And it's like, well, don't be like that, Ray. <laughs> um, yeah, then she goes to it. Uh, tries to find this Wayfinder. And entering the throne room of Palpatine. Like, There's a lot of nostalgia in this film. And, um, yeah, I love it. Everyone's, there were loads of people saying to me, like, oh, there's too much nostalgia. They were like, the film was relied on nostalgia. So what? Like, if this film had no nostalgia on it at all, you'd be pissed off. You'd be like, oh, there's no quotes that I can smile to, or there's no, like, little, little touches that remind me of the past and what I grew up loving do you know what I mean like there was a lot of people saying that and it's like just shut up just enjoy it it's like do you know what I mean it's good that there's lots of nostalgia anyway um yeah then Ray goes to this um kind of like room which had the wayfinder in it she finds it and then she faces uh, a dark version of herself with double blade lightsaber that like contracts like it was in the trailer which is sick I had a cool little fight um 
saying she was empress and it's like oh so sick um yeah she has the wayfinder then she fights kylo ren for a bit because he ends up being there and they're having a fight and uh yeah this part i absolutely just bursted out crying in the cinema i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna like hide the fact that i cried throughout the whole film anyway um yeah then she what's it yeah then leia uses the last bit of her power to send to kylo to be redeemed like she used she basically not killed herself but like she gave every bit of life she had left to kylo ren so he could be redeemed back to the light side and uh yeah ray ends up stabbing kylo ren <laughs> with his saber which is like epic and uh he like force heals him as well because he f she felt really bad because she like she basically turned dark for a second and she was like no i can't i can't do this so he, she heals him and then she's like oh i did want to take your hand i wanted to take ben's hand um then she runs away in Carlos ship goes to uh octu which is the planet luke was on and hides there but before we see that this part made me cry um the second time of me watching it i didn't realize it the first time i wasn't really listening because I was too busy crying in the, fir the first time watching it. But um, when I was watching it, Han appears. And um, they're like having a chat and whatever. And then before, you know, he Kylo throws his lightsaber away. But before that, he's like, Dad. And he's about to say something. And then Han goes, I know. And I think, obviously... No, he Kylo was going to say, Dad, I love you. But he goes, Dad, and then he's like, he, he, just, can't, he just can't say it. But Han goes, I know. So he's like, he doesn't have to say it because he knows. And then Kylo just lobs his lightsaber and he's like, yo, back on the good side. <laughs> and like, oh, such a moment. Like, as soon as I heard him say, I know, I like realised. The second time I was watching it, I was like, I realised that that's what it meant and i was like oh my god that's absolutely brilliant wordplay like so good and then uh yeah ray's on octu destroyed uh kylo's ship and then she goes to throw the lightsaber in uh kylo and ship that's on fire basically destroying it and then pops out a ghostly figure hand and it's luke skywalker and he's like a Jedi's weapon needs to be treated with more respect or something like that and it's like he just absolutely shat on the last Jedi <laughs> absolutely just just with that quote absolutely just shat on it so funny um but yeah he's right you can't treat a weapon like trash like like Obi-Wan said in episode 2 to Anakin this weapon is your life do you know what I mean um yeah and then when was after that they talk for a bit oh you're a palpatine luke says doesn't mean that you know there's no good in you all right doesn't mean that at all just because you're a palpatine doesn't mean you know you're automatically a bad person okay yeah it may be you know blood but you might have palpatine's blood in you but that doesn't mean that you're a bad person um, and he's basically just saying to her, just don't be afraid of who you are. That's what um, Leia says to her as well. Don't be afraid of who you are. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, then, what happens after that? Yeah, Luke uses the Force to lift up his X-Wing. So she can f use it to fly to x -Gull Because... Oh yeah, Kylo Ren destroyed the Wayfinder that Rey found on the Death Star. And then she's like, oh, that there's there's no way of me getting to X school. And she was like, yes, there is, because there's another one. And then, um, yeah, Ray gets the one that's in Kylo Ren's ship somehow. God knows how it didn't burn or whatever, but um, it must be quite strong material. Anyway, uh, yeah, gets the one out of there. And he's like, two were made. And then Luke uses the force to lift up the X-Wing. 
and then she uses that to get to X school. And uh, yeah, and then she flies to X school, and she's giving a signal to the resistance, um, the way to actually get to X school. And they're like, oh yeah, let's go do this. Oh, let's destroy, destroy everything, destroy the last order, and that's what it's called, the final order. That's what it's called. Yeah, and then she goes goes to X school, finds Palpatine, and um. I'm trying to explain this really, really fast because I don't want to forget it all. There's probably loads of things I've forgotten. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to tell you what I've remembered. So yeah, she gets to X school, flies about, and then goes to the throne room of where Palpatine is. Um, and he's there like, oh yeah, you're my granddaughter and you're going to be... Empress Palpatine, you're going to take the throne, you're going to strike me down, and when you have striked me down, all of his power will be in her, and she will be absolutely mental. She's going to be so powerful, it's unreal. Um, and yeah, uh, and she doesn't really want to. Oh yeah, I just completely missed something as well. On Mark 2, um, where uh, Luke says to Rey, oh, there's something Leia would like you to have. And her lightsaber, I'm sorry, yeah. How beautiful is that lightsaber? Rose gold. Oh, man. So sick. And then that scene where Leia and Luke are like having a like training and stuff. That made me cry. That was so cool to watch. Um... Yeah, anyway. And then, uh. Yeah, Palpatine saying the whole, like, you need to strike me down, and all my power will be within you, and you'll be Empress Palpatine. And that is so cool! Um. And then, what happens after that? Yeah, the space battle, I feel like it could have been a bit more epic it was epic like it was so cool to watch um but i feel like it could have been a bit more epic because the amount of star destroyers they made with death star cannons on them to destroy planets is mental there were so many of them it's like you would think that they'd be able to destroy that tiny fleet that came um but yeah uh that part where uh, all the other rebel ships came along, that was insane. The amount of ships that were there, it's almost like, yeah, now this is a battle. And it was, it was so cool, so epic. Um, trying to think now, what happened after that? Oh yeah, then Ben comes along and goes down to try and like save Ray and whatever. Um, Trying to remember. Oh yeah, then he's like stuck because he's fighting the Knights of Ren. Um, oh yeah, and then Ray knows that he's here, and he's and she's safe now. She knows they've got like a little plan because Ray has both lightsabers. She's got Leia's and Luke's, and uh, yeah, she passes Luke's one through the Force. Right to give to Ben, pardon me, to then fight the Knights of Ren with, which is epic. Oh my God, the part where he's like, does that? That's like a little nod to Han Solo in Return of the Jedi. Um, just so cool, man. And then he starts fighting, and then Ray gets layers one out, starts fighting the Royal Guards and whatever. Ben comes. And then they're like ready to fight Palpatine. And Palpatine like sucks the life out of them. And then uh, I think, does Rey die? No, no, she doesn't die yet. She, obviously they had the life sucked out of them. And then now Palpatine is like mental, he's like insane. Um, 
then he force pushes Kylo Ren down this hole um, and he's there like ah oh, like your grandfather once did to me I'm going to do to you the last Skywalker chucks him down this hole and it's like a uh, little nod to what Darth Vader did to him in Return of the Jedi and then Palpatine God knows he's like in his, like powerful as hell the reason why is because like he sucked the life out of Rey and Kylo and they have a massive bond together they're like together they are powerful so he sucked the life out of them to give the power to himself to then have his own power and their power and it's like insane that's why he was able to do the whole lightning destroying all the ships in the sky it's like oh my god and then Rey um, it has a little bit of life in her left to talk to the spirits of the Jedi which is insane she's like oh be with me be with me and then the camera zooms up to the sky and then you're looking at the stars and all you hear is voices of the Jedi so you hear Anakin you hear Obi-Wan from A New Hope and the prequels you hear Mace Windu you hear Kanan you hear Ahsoka you hear Leia Luke you hear so many Jedi talking to Rey, being like, rise, Rey, you can do this. Anakin, what does Anakin say? Anakin says something like, um, bring balance to the Force, Rey, as I did, or something like that. And it's like, yes, yes. And it's so epic. Um, yeah, then she has the power in her left to stand up and uses uh, Luke's lightsaber. Or Rey, or no, it's layers, I think. Um to block force lightning from Palpatine and then Palpatine's like oh you can't stop me I am all the Sith and then Rey is like and I am and then brings a lightsaber to her hand I'm all the Jedi does this <laughs> so sick and then destroys Palpatine Palpatine dies and then Rey ends up dying as well and and then it cuts to Finn, and Finn's like, oh no, Ray," which is like a thing saying that um, Finn is full sensitive. And what the sky battle was doing, by the way, sorry to jump to <laughs> people dying and then jump to this, um, the whole, what's it called? Uh, the space battle was based around this um, little system thing, I forgot what it's called. Got what it's called. Like a little signal thingy that was helping all the Star Destroyers connect and make them more powerful and all that sort of stuff. And that's what they were trying to destroy. And yeah, I just wanted to add that in so it made sense to why the space battle was happening. Anyway. Um Yeah, then Ray dies, and then Kylo Ren comes out of the, the gap that he was force pushed into and survived. Don't know how comes out, goes to Rey, gives her a hug and all that and then Kylo gives all the life he has left like his mother did to Rey so all the life that Leia gave to Kylo and then Kylo is given basically Leia's life and his own life to Rey so she can live because yeah she's the reason why Ben turned good again and you know basically saved everyone so that's why he you know uh, gave all his life to her um which is an epic scene and then she comes back to life and then they look at each other and i'm there like go on i know you want to like it feel it felt right the first time i watched it though i think i did tweet about it actually saying after watching the roger skywalker i just felt so strange because it was because I think it was the last film and there's no going to be nothing af else after this um, and obviously it made me really upset and down uh, because I love Star Wars so much and I can't thank Star Wars enough for everything that it's done for me um, like I love it so much and I just can't thank them enough for what they've done um, yeah, I felt so weird, and I was like, I need to go see it again. Especially with the whole Ray and Kylo Ren thing. 
when but when I watched it the second time, I was like, yeah, go on. This it felt it felt right. Everyone's there like, oh, incest. It's like, nah, it's not. It's everyone's like, oh, Palpatine manipulated the midichlorians to create Anakin, so technically they're incest. And it's like, no, because it was confirmed the other week, I think, that um, Palpatine didn't make Anakin. So there you go. That's why it felt. That's why I was worried. That's why I made the whole Raylo videos because I was worried that uh, Ray was going to be end up being a Skywalker, and you know everyone's there like basically making them incest. Uh, that's why I was there, like, oh, I don't really like Raylo. Oh, oh, oh. But when I found out she was Palpatine, I was like, okay, if Raylo does happen now, I'm going to say it's Raylo because that's what people like. Um, I was saying if uh, if it does happen, then I won't mind because it will feel right. And it did happen. They ended up kissing, and it's not like you know, because at the end of the, well, after they kiss, Kylo goes one with the Force, fades out, like what Luke, what Obi Wan and Yoda did. Um, he went one with the Force, which was cool. And I was so worried that there was going to be more like, oh, they're going to have children and grow up. And it's like, nah, that was a good way to do that. You know, they liked each other. They did it. And then that's it. Nothing else. It's just a little thing for the Raylo fans just to be like, ah, oh, about. But no, I will be doing another Raylo video soon, talking about it more. Um, but yeah. Did I like it? Yes, I, l I liked it. It felt right at the time. But the whole, like, you know, Ray being a Skywalker, that's what I was worried about. That's why I didn't really like Raylo at the time. But I like it now. So you Raylo fans out there who were telling me off in my in my Raylo videos, uh, well, I'm not going to apologise because, you know. Anyway, enough of that. But yeah, then after they kiss, Kylo is one with the Force. Um... And then that's pretty much it. Uh, Ray goes back to the Resistance Planet. They celebrate. And uh, yeah, then. Can I just say, Wicked That You Walk is in the movie because he's in the um, credits at the end. Warwick Davis, my boy, playing Wicked, being an older Ewok. I love that. That's so sick. Uh, Best Bin's there. Um, yeah. Then after the celebrate and all that stuff. Ray goes back to Tatooine, where it all began. Um, yeah, to bury Ray, no, not Ray's, bury um, Leia's and Luke's lightsaber in the in the ground. And then, yeah, she's having fun looking around where Luke used to live and all that stuff. And then someone comes along and says to her, "Oh, no one hasn't been here for years." Who are you? And then she goes, oh, I'm Ray. And then she goes, Ray who? And then she doesn't want to say that she's a Palpatine, you know? And then she looks to her right and sees Force Ghost, Luke and Leia, and that, oh. I feel like crying now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was epic. And then she looks at the woman and goes, Ray Skywalker. And people were complaining about that. And I don't get why. Um, because the reason why she said it was because, um, you know, Palpatine, yeah, Palpatine was, she was a Palpatine, but she did, she never knew that. She never knew she was a Palpatine, like, when she was little, and, you know, even her mum and dad didn't want to be Palpatine because of, didn't want to be a Palpatine because of what Palpatine did back in, you know, the old wars and all that stuff. Um, so that's why Rey, Rey grew up with the Skywalkers, grew up with Leia, grew up with Luke, grew up with Han, grew up with the Skywalker family, you know. That was her family, not Palpatine. The Palpatine family had nothing to do with Rey, you know. Um, all she had was hate for the Palpatine name, 
and that is why she said that she was a Skywalker at the end of the film. That's why she would rather say that she's Rey Skywalker than Rey Palpatine. Which is good. I liked it. Some people didn't like it. Fair enough. I, I don't care. That's your opinion. Anyway, but yeah, then that's the end of the movie. Cuts to the twin. Then it cuts to the last shot of the twin sons. And then that's the end of the film. Yeah. Um. So, what did I think about the last Jedi? The last Jedi. What did I think about the Rise of Skywalker? I loved it. It's definitely up there in my top five. Uh, I will do a ranking video soon on the last Jedi. The last Jedi. God, the Rise of Skywalker. I will do a rank video on all the Skywalker films. I will be leaving out Rogue One and Solo. Um. But yeah, I absolutely loved the film. Absolutely loved it. Um, and yeah, honestly, I can't thank Star Wars enough for what they've done. You know, I absolutely love the sequel trilogy. And yeah, Star Wars has been a part of my life for ages, since I can remember. All my life. And... It's always brought a smile to my face. And seriously, I can't thank Styles enough. Because um, I absolutely love it. Styles is my life. As you can tell, I've got a YouTube channel based around it. I talk about Styles every single day. Like, I've got lightsabers. Look, I've got them here. Look, I've got, I bought Darth Vader's the other day. Like, you know, my hot, pot figures. You know, pot figures up here as well. I've got posters. You know, Styles is a big part of my life. You know, if it wasn't for Star Wars, I'd basically be a nobody. Because everyone knows me as the Star Wars kid around my area. So, but anyway, uh, I absolutely loved the film. If you haven't seen it, you need to go and watch it. <laughs> I just spoiled the whole film for you anyway. Uh, but, um, yeah, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. If I could rate it out of 10. See, it's weird because as a solo film, I'd rate it a 9. As a sequel film, you know, with The Force Awakens and Last Jedi, I'd probably give it a 8. And then as a saga, probably like a 7.5. Or maybe an 8 as well. Um, but yeah, loved the film. <laughs> That's all I can say. I thought it was a great end to the Skywalker saga. And... Yeah, love uh, Kylo Ren as well. I need to talk about him for a second because he deserves all the credit. Adam Adam Driver deserves everything, honestly. Like the first two films, I didn't really think much of him. He was cool, absolutely loved him as a character. But in the Rise of Skywalker, he made me realise how much of a cool character he Ben Solo really is. Especially at the end of the film, seeing him hold a blue lightsaber. You know, and being redeemed and stuff. That, that really hit me, you know. But yeah, Kyle Ren, Adam Driver, did a sick job. Daisy Ridley as Ray, sick job. All the other characters, you know, uh, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, you know. And also, you know, the originals, Mark Hamill, you know, Carrie Fisher, Han, Harrison Ford. Yeah, those people mean a lot to me, and I can't thank them enough for, you know, making me love... Styles even more than I already do. But yeah, that's it. Um, that's going to be the end of my Rise of Skywalker review. Uh, I mean, was it really a review or was it just talking about the film? <laughs> uh, but yeah, loved the film. I did give my opinions on a few things. Uh, I didn't really like Rose. Uh, oh yeah, that was another thing as well. You know at the end where uh, Rey does the whole like double lightsaber thing and does this... I wish the Jedi were behind her, doing doing this to her, giving all the energy to her so she can destroy Palpatine. I think that's in the direct JJ's uh, director's cut. I think I think they released that. Um, so if that is a thing that they were going to do, why in hell they didn't put it in the movie? I God knows. But um, yeah, that was another thing I was disappointed with. Um, the, spi the space battle I was a little bit disappointed with because I wish there was a little bit more to it. 
but still epic. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else I was disappointed with. Um, but yeah, absolutely love the film. I'm gonna go and see it a few more times because I love it. I hope you guys did. You know, I hope you guys loved the film as well. If you didn't like it, let me know down in the comments what you thought about it. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Welcome to 2020. This is the first video of 2020, so yeah, there's that as well. I hope you guys had a great new year. And yeah, look, I want to hit 2k subs this year, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, guys. Please, that'd mean the absolute world to me. And yeah, I've been talking for 45 minutes, bloody hell. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much. Let's absolutely smash it this year. And yeah, once again, thank you so much, Star Wars, for everything you've done for me. Thank you a lot. I've been Jack Tess, and you've been the viewer, and may the force be with you all always.